Hey guys, Lucas here and welcome to Case New Space. I recently made a short video explaining how to code in KSP and I think it didn't do it justice. So it deserves a little more explanation. First of all, I want to explain how to install Python on your system so that you can follow along. If you're on Windows 11, that's quite simple because you can use a tool called Winget. To check if you have Winget installed, simply type winget dash dash version. Alright, now winget search python or better dash dash id python to just search for the id. Enter and whoa. Here's a long list now of different python versions and the one we're interested in is the latest one, python 3.13. Okay, so now winget install dash dash id python dot python dot 3.13 and it should now install. I obviously already have it installed. Now you probably need a system restart for this to work. However, if it works, you can check by typing python dash dash version. Okay, now the next step you don't really need to do but I do it because I want to have a clean system. This means instead of just installing packages in my main python version, I how to explain it? I basically copy Python as it is into a separate folder and then install my packages into that folder version alone. That's called a virtual environment. All this basically means is if I ever want to get rid of krpc the mod, I simply delete the folder and I'm good. So for that we now type python-m which basically doesn't call Python but a module of it. And that module is called vnv. Or virtual environment. Now all we need is to type in a folder which I choose to be pyenvs slash krpc. Okay. Now Python set up a new virtual environment. We can check it here and activate it using a script that's hidden in the folder. Let's browse there, okay, using change directory pyenvs. Now check again with list change directory krpc list again and we have multiple folders. One of them is called scripts. That's the one we need. Oops. Okay, now we already see we have Python installed in this folder. Also pip. Pip is the package manager which we will use to install the package logically. But now what we want to do is to activate the environment. That's all. If you get a green or whatever color krpc on the left, you're good. We can now browse back to our main folder and start python to check if it all works. Yes it does. We can print hello world. Uh -uh. I forgot. Okay, it works. We can exit this live environment using exit. And now the last step we have to do is to install the krpc package. And as I mentioned, we use pip for that. Okay, that's finished. We can now check the list of all the packages. And as we see, we installed krpc and protobuf. Protobuf is, well, I don't know, but it's some kind of dependency. Okay, but now we can finally start a code in KSP. For that we again start Python, clear the screen to remove the clutter and here we go. Now in KSP, if the mod's already correctly installed, which by the way is linked in info box, you click on it. Oh wait, it's hidden. Now there it is. Okay, krpc and all we have to do is to click start server. Now here's a bit of IP address stuff but we don't really have to worry about that. All we have to do is to go back to our window and type import krpc. Ooh, that worked. And now we have to connect to the server in kspc and that is done by, well link is a variable and we say link 
equals krpc dot connect and we choose a name for our connection I choose bot why not it worked or if it worked we really see here bot at that's the IP address we're now connected to KSP and well we can read data or write data on how exactly that works you can read in the official KRPC documentation I give you a small example okay to access our vessel again a variable vessel and link dot space or oh, space center dot vessel no active vessel so we have our link we access the space center API and that space center API again has a class or a, an object called active vessel and that, that active vessel is returned into our variable vessel we can check it okay vessel is now a krpc services space center vessel object and that vessel object has different functions or variables one of them is name oh Claudon Kerman who the f is that anyways <laughs> another one is vessel.biome which is shores okay it's a runway but okay and the last one we need is vessel.recoverable recoverable good okay now these three variables are enough to create a little program or a function a function is created in Python using def or define now the name is show biome and we need a variable vessel or a parameter I think it's called so the idea of this function is to run a loop and in that loop all we do is print the biome we're currently in so far so easy and that loop is a while loop and I want to stop this once I land so we can use our recoverable variable to check if we're not recoverable because we're in flight vessel dot while not vessel recoverable print vessel dot bio okay now this would quickly spam our full screen so what I also want to do is to sleep for a second every time I print so it prints once a second and that print function we first have to import import from time I think yes time is a library a standard library of Python okay that should work okay that now doesn't work because we're not in flight yet but we'll change that now boarding her private jet lifting the legs or extending the leg and here we go quite heavy I notice but it works now because my multitasking is pretty bad I have to pause and <laughs> get the window back now we should oh no wait we first now because we changed vessels we of course have to assign a new vessel link dot space center dot active yup that worked and show biome
wow, it works. Not quite that surprised because it already worked in the short video. Okay, where do I put this window here? Just in case you wonder, I use a controller. That's why my control is so smooth. Land. It works. Okay, now let's check some mountains too. Fast forward to the highlands. Come on. And pull up. There we are. So I should see the mountains. There. Okay guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Let me just fly over the mountain and finish this video. I hope you could follow along and if you like to see more of this kind of videos, please let me know. Okay, auf Wiedersehen and thank you for watching.